I received a comment like this, where was God in more than 1000 wars on earth? I don't trust him anymore. I understand your frustration. It's deeply challenging to reconcile the existence of a loving God with the harsh reality of over a thousand wars on earth. Many people struggle with this profound question, and it's a topic that has troubled humanity for centuries. One perspective is that human free will plays a significant role in the occurrence of wars and violence. God grants us the freedom to make choices, even when those choices lead to devastating consequences. This freedom is fundamental to our humanity, but it also means that people can choose paths of destruction and conflict. The Bible itself addresses such profound moral dilemmas. In Genesis 6, we see a depiction of a time when humanity's wickedness had become so great that God decided to send a flood to wipe out almost all life on earth. This story highlights the depth of human corruption and the drastic measures God considered necessary to reset creation. Yet, even in this narrative of judgment, there is a glimmer of hope and redemption through Noah and his family, who found favor in God's eyes. This suggests that even in the midst of widespread wickedness, there are individuals whose righteousness can lead to renewal and preservation. While it might not always be apparent, many believe that God is present in the compassion, courage, and resilience of those who work towards peace and help others during these times. In the midst of war and suffering, there are countless acts of kindness, bravery, and selflessness that reflect God's love and presence. Think of the doctors who risk their lives to save others, the peacekeepers who strive to end conflict, and the volunteers who provide aid to those in need. These actions are seen by many as manifestations of God's Spirit working through people. It's also worth considering that our understanding of God's presence and actions is limited. There are theological views that suggest God works in ways that are beyond our comprehension, and what may seem like abandonment or inaction could be part of a larger, divine plan that we can't fully grasp. Moreover, many religious traditions emphasize the idea that suffering and hardship can lead to growth and deeper understanding. This doesn't make the pain any less real, but it suggests that through enduring and overcoming struggles, we can find greater meaning and develop a stronger, more resilient faith. In conclusion, while the existence of wars and suffering is a challenging and often painful reality, exploring these questions and seeking understanding can sometimes help in finding a renewed sense of trust and faith. Remember, it's okay to question and seek, many find that their faith is strengthened through this process of exploration and doubt.